The fam serenades Michelle with Baby Beluga. Woof. DJ and Kimmy wisely rush past that nightmare. They're busy planning the school dance. They celebrate booking a shitty band. Kimmy tells DJ to invite Kevin to this dance they're ruining. But since DJ is a coward, Stephanie calls for her. Kevin says yes with no delay, because he's a horny 13-year-old and DJ has a pulse. Michelle can't stop listening to Baby Beluga, who cares? DJ's ready to dance in her finest crime-fighting attire. Kimmy breaks the news that the band they booked bailed. DJ begs Jesse to fill in, assuring him she can get a killer backup band on short notice. He agrees before before her fashion sense rubs off on him. Enter Kevin, who shops at the same ugly clothes store Kimmy and DJ frequent. This dance sucks. There's no music to dance to, as Jessie has no band. DJ beckons her stud, but Kevin is parched for some punch. His pal with the scumbag haircut says he's tense. They know just the thing to help him unwind. I think they're going to teach Kevin about jacking off. Here comes Jessie's band. This dance is cursed. Jessie makes a big stink. His ego to talent and success ratio is staggering. Then his performance clears the dance floor faster than taco farts. DJ, thank God, found a stereo to play some music. Mind-blowing, that wasn't the plan all along. But where is Kevin? These visionaries recognize that party tongued ass, so they started a much better party with beer. Very cool. Kevin offers his lady a sip, but she's no longer thirsty. She lambastes them and gets a one-way ticket to Splash City. Killer party. Kevin defends her honor and fetches some paper towels. DJ tells them to scram, then mocks them with their beer like it'll teach them a lesson. The dance was lame. Now we're having a party. DJ with a no-look behind the back self-snitch while doing nothing wrong. She tries to explain herself by snitching on those guys. But Jessie doesn't buy it as she smells like Nick Nolte slippers. Time to go home. If he really wanted to punish her, he'd make her stay at that dance. Jessie rats on DJ, who once again rats on the fellas and swears she's not a liar. You weren't exactly honest about this marching backup band tonight. What now, you lying liar? Danny sends her smelly ass upstairs. DJ is pissed. She's in trouble for a crime she didn't commit. That's not supposed to happen to white ladies in America? It sucks. Almost as bad as that dance. She cries like a baby. Wah wah. You know, times like this, an ice cold brewski might be the ticket. DJ vows she will be vindicated. Meanwhile, the men try to crack the case of why a teen would try a beer. Peer pressure? Society? It's fun and delicious? Maybe they were going fishing. Stephanie reports DJ is innocent, but she's guilty of sneaking out just now to prove her innocence. Kimmy says the fellas got caught sipping that hallway hooch. They're suspended. I hate to say it, but they deserve it. DJ certainly did not hate to say that. DJ demands Kevin restores her reputation as boring, then interrogates him about that beer. Kevin only did it to loosen up. Something DJ should really try sometime. I'm really sorry. I know you are. Way to accept that apology, Deej. Kevin tells Danny and Jesse that DJ was telling the truth. I owe you a big apology. You really hurt my feelings. DJ might need some apology acceptance training. Jesse only got so angry because he's seen countless people ruin their entire lives with one beer. He warns that soon she'll have to make more tough decisions about drinking and drugs and sex. Hopefully this night will be a learning experience to do the opposite next time one of those radical opportunities arises. So what did we learn today? If you plan the worst school dance of all time, don't be surprised when kids sneak off to get drunk. And you might as well drink with them because you're going to get in trouble regardless. But all you need to do to get out of trouble is shift the blame on others and cry like a baby wah wah. Then get your new boyfriend to take the heat. And when someone apologizes, use that moment to make them feel worse. See you next time on a very special episode. <laughs>